Are you familiar with these pesky red bugs? They leave horrendously itchy bites on you. They're called chiggers, and new research out of NC State reveals that North Carolina chiggers carry a type of bacteria that's been known to cause a potentially deadly disease. WRAL's Carly Haynes explains how this research is an important step in stopping possible illnesses. Ashley, this research was funded by NIH. NC State researchers say if there is a health concern that's linked to these bugs, then work can begin on trying to control the population, much like we already do with ticks, so we can better enjoy walking through grass or walking around a lake. Ants can just do it by For Victoria Green, a beautiful North Carolina summer brings some pests. I get allergic by bugs and I just don't, it's really, you know, irritating. One of those bugs, chiggers, a red mite small enough to sit on the head of a pin that can leave us with nasty bites. Burning, itchy, you know, all of that redness, inflammation. It's scientists have other concerns. Right now, we don't know if these chiggers cause any kind of human illness in the United States. NC State researchers, including Michael Rowe, along with researchers out of UNC Greensboro, found chiggers in North Carolina carry bacteria known to cause the potentially fatal disease scrub typhus. Symptoms include fever and chills, headache and body aches, according to the CDC. This research leaves a big question. We don't know if these chiggers carrying this bacteria will cause human or animal disease. Scrub typhus has not been found in the U.S. right now. It's mainly in Asia. But NC State researchers found that the bacteria that's linked to the disease is here. We noticed no one ever looked for it before. So that was sort of the the thing that went off in our heads. Roe tells WREL that the earlier this research is done, the better they can prevent possible diseases and allow nature lovers to carry on. It makes me more fearful to come outside, actually. But um, like I said, you know, it's summertime and we all want to be out there. And once again, this bacteria has not been found to show disease in animals and humans in the U.S. at this point. But, you know, Ashley, we're working nights. We're working with these lights all the time. Bugs are flocking there. So in the meantime, I think we're going to use some bug spray to get us through some of these humid filled summer nights. Yes. Get that spray going. Oh, I'm itchy just thinking about them. Thank you. Carly Haynes reporting live in Raleigh.